Today we're going to be taking a look at the new 4D screen house from Avid and more specifically some of the improvements they've made over the initial one they brought out around nine years ago. Also a bit more of an overview as well but starting off with the weight. Ugh, just over 18 kilos, it's quite heavy. Ugh, thanks Luke. Chuck another just under two kilos on top for the skull cap. Just over 20 kilos for all this so uh, it's not ready for a cheeky overnighter. So the screen house is now set up and I must admit I've got Luke with me today giving me a hand because this is not a one man job. You come fishing to relax, if you're trying to put this up by yourself you'll be far from relaxed. So it is a two person job to make it a lot easier but to be honest you're mostly going to be using this for social occasions anyway so that's not an issue. A few tips when setting this up is before you put the poles in for the legs we're using the skull cap today, so it makes sense to put that on at that point and then lift up the legs. That makes it a lot easier because otherwise you're gonna have to be reaching over and trying to do it. And that's all right for me, but if you're as short as Luke, you might struggle to reach the corners. Moving on to the height, as you can see, I'm stood in the middle and that's because this peak has been new and improved. So to start with, we've got the frame around the front, giving it the nice support there. And we've also got a support bar going down the middle. That means that it's got a bit of a, a ridge to the roof and it tapers itself down so you don't get any rain gathering in the middle where if it didn't have this it would be doing and then you'd have to push the water off every time. Stability wise you've got guide ropes going down the front as well to hold them out it's been pretty blowy today and although it's shaking you're never going to get a rock solid shelter like this but it's not been going anywhere. If we move back to here as you can see I'm starting to squat slightly so uh, if you're six foot plus you will be pushing the roof up slightly here but we can see a couple more features that were added to uh, this in comparison to the, the first iterations of these shelters that came out around nine years ago. We've got some support bars going across now and this just makes everything a lot more rigid. When the wind blows, there's no risk of it twisting and warping at all. And talking more stability, if we move on to the corner blocks as well, they have been redesigned and are much more sturdy. So they house the fiberglass poles that go over the top, the supports that go either side and then the main legs going down. So all those bars go into a central strong block and holds everything solid. It's worth noting that these also have little loops for the elastics, and not elastics, sorry, the Velcros that the skull cap attaches to. Now, going back to the skull cap, this will fit any of the 4D and 3D screen houses and also the Mark 1 versions and the RT shelters. It comes with adapter plates or little um, clips so you can put that on any of the uh, shelters like this in avid range so that's worth noting if you didn't want to get the the new screen house you can still fit this on your original one moving on to the inside i'll get into more details about this in a second got different door um, functions rear window a vapor shield and things as well and all the way throughout we've got the new avid mesh uh, their, their pattern as well if i come forward so like we can stand up again that'd be a bit better but one of the main things that's going to be the center point of this is the price point. The RRP for the 4D screen house itself comes in at $299.99 and then the skull cap on the top is $99.99. So all of this, all in, for around the 400 quid mark is much, much cheaper than some of the rivals that are on the market. Remember, if you like this sort of content, then please subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and you'll be notified each time one goes up. And also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for regular updates. Once inside, as you'd expect, stacks of room. I've put my standard bed chair right towards the back. So if you were using this as a personal shelter just for a lot of space, then this is how much room you'd be left with. Still plenty of room head end and foot end. If you're using this for uh, as a two man setup, easily have two bed chairs down the side, stacks of room elsewhere. But if you didn't want to have this as an actual sleeping space and mainly just social area and uh, cooking and stuff, then that's where the sides come in handy as well. Because as you can see, I've got this all in different configurations. To my right, which is your left, as you can see, everything is just completely peeled back. So you can fit in a one man bivy there, absolutely no problems and same on this side so on this side i'm showing you a different configuration where i've left the mesh down on one side so you can have full mesh down on one side so i could lower that door as well so it's all mesh on that side and then you've also got the completely solid panel that goes over the top of that so if you wanted you can have all of this closed off and just the front open or vice versa have pretty much all the corners open until you come around to the back and that is where you see a one meter square vent on the other side, you've got a clear PVC window as well. So if you wanted to have some daylight coming in from there, but it's pissing down with rain, you can have the uh, PVC down. Excuse my language. I don't think I ever say that normally. Normally when it's just raining heavily, 
And then you've got a solid panel as well down the back as well. So you can have it completely sheltered from the, from the weather. If it's really hammering down with rain, you can do that. But come in the summer, I think it's when this is going to be perfect because you can have all the vents open, loads of airflow coming through. You can stand up in here, nice bit of shade as well. And if I show you actually, if I stand directly in the middle, I'm 6'1 with a silly bobble hat on and the bobble hat isn't touching the top. So I'd say roughly 6'5, six, 6'6 six, six, right in the middle. And that is including the vapor shield, which is in place at the moment as well. So that just reduces condensation and uh, prevents any kind of drips on you during the night. Or if you do brush your head against it, it shouldn't be getting you wet if you're using it in the colder weather. Moving on to the front. So straight out the front, I've got the skull cap on at the moment which has got the front flap completely open so if i wanted using the skull cap i can have it like i have at the moment with a porch i can then lower the main panel from the main shelter itself the 40 panels uh, 40 shelter sorry down on the front so i can have it completely zipped up and sheltered but still keep that porch out so come morning zip that back up and that the porch is already ready so you've got that option if i didn't have the skull cap on that front door can still be held out on the like the porch system at the moment but then obviously you don't have the option to drop the door down as quickly and easily as you can with this system and before we leave the inside as you can see there's the ground sheet as well so this just clips in really easily in all four corners we were worrying when we got it out that it was going to be one of those ones you've got really stretched but it just latches on with it elasticated toggles either on every corner and holds it down nice it just keeps this bit nice and clear especially if you're in the winter weather walking in and out it gets really boggy it shouldn't be an issue in here but come summer you probably won't need this but it's nice to know you've got it in the bag now we're back on the front, I'll explain what I meant by the, the front options with the skull cap and the front panel down. So as you can see, I've now zipped the front main panel completely down, but the porch is still in situ. So if the weather really starts hammering in and you need that more protection, you can put that down without having a faff with the, the front porch, um, taking that back down. But you can pack this down as well. If you want, you just take it off the clips here and roll this peak all the way back. So then you've still got the another layer on the top, which is what the, the skull cap covers all the way to the back. So you've then got three layers basically on the inside of the shelter. You've got the skull cap, the main shelter itself, and then the vapor shield on the inside, completely cutting down on condensation, especially if you're using this in the uh, colder weather. But uh, yeah, you can still use the front on the main shelter as a porch if you didn't want to use the skull caps, if you didn't want to take as much stuff. But having the skull cap just gives you that versatility of being able to keep that down, put this up or lift that up and vice versa. So you really can chop and change to whatever the weather's doing and how you want this. There we go, the new Avid 4D screen house and the accompanying skull cap. If you want more information on this, then please head over to the Avid website. But for now, please make sure you subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. And also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for regular updates. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.